What's up YouTube friends? Now as promised, I told you I'd give you an update on my dishwasher pods here. Today is January 30th, so I've been using these about a month, and as you can see, I've only used about half of these. While researching for this recipe, a few of the people said after using these a few times that they started to get that cloudy film back on their dishes. I have not. I have been very pleased with these, and it saved us a lot of money. Now if you remember from my video, I used novelty ice cube trays for my molds and I had these little orange slices, some lemon halves, these apples, and these stars. Now the only problem I had is that these stars do not fit in my soap compartment, so I just had to cut them in half, which is why I have so many left. This amount will last us at least until halfway through February, so it's very economical. Now I have not found any difference in whether I use this apple one, which has more of the soap in it, than say this lemon or this lime slice. My dishes come out clear and clean and there's no spots on them. And none of that filmy haze. So I'm going to continue to make these just to save us some money. Now I have went ahead and ordered some molds off of Amazon. That way they're all the same size, but like I said, I have not found a difference. Now I got a comment on this video and someone asked me what this soap would do to your motor. Nothing. I don't see how the soap will affect your motor at all. And then she asked what it's going to do to your screen in your dishwasher and your drain. My opinion? Clean it. This is all natural stuff that I'm using here, so I don't think it's going to hurt your dishwasher at all. Now as far as voiding your warranty by using this soap, I have no idea. So on to the next project here. These are my tomato plants. As you can see, they all sprouted. I planted these on the 19th. Today is the 30th, so it's been about a week and a half. So now I'm just going to bring you in a little closer, and I'll show you how I'm going to thin these out. Alright guys, so this is all the tomatoes I'll be planting in my garden this year, and I have nine varieties here. Now if you remember from my previous video on how I started these, I put four seeds per cell. As you can see on some of these, all four came up, and on some of them, only one came up. So now I just want to thin these down to one or two plants per cell here. Now with these bigger plants right here, I'm not going to worry about them dying off, so I'm probably just going to thin those down to one. But some of these smaller ones down here, I'll go ahead and leave two plants in there, just in case one happens to die off, I'll have an extra. So I'm just going to take my scissors here, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to find the strongest plant, or what I think the strongest plant is, and I'm just going to snip off the rest. I don't like to pull them out anymore, I used to do that, but then sometimes you might accidentally pull out the one you want to keep. Now I used to feel really bad when I went Now I used to feel really bad when I'd go through here and trim out my plants. But now I know these are going to go in my compost and feed my garden, so I have no worries. Now I don't know how well you can see it here, but there's a little one that's just starting to come up. I'll wait till probably next week before I trim him off, but the rest of these can go. Alright, so as you can see, I went ahead and I thinned all these out to one. This number 15, I'm not quite sure what it is, I forgot. But they're pretty small, so I left two plants in there. Now I'm just going to do the same thing with these other plants. Alright guys, so this is what I have right now. I thinned them out to one, and then these ones, I just left two, just in case one happens to die. Now my tomatoes always come up fast. My peppers, not so fast. I'll go ahead and I'll show you an update of those over by the window. Alright guys, as you can see, my pepper plants are doing okay. Some of them, all of the seeds have come up already that I planted, and some of them haven't even sprouted yet, like this one right here. But that's okay. 
Peppers take a long time to germinate. They could take a week up to 21 days to germinate. Now if you want to start your pepper plants from seed, I really recommend getting a heating mat. It made a world of difference for my germination rate. So probably in the next couple weeks, I'll go ahead and I'll thin out my pepper plants the same way I did my tomato plants. And right back here, if you're interested, I planted some garlic chives. I don't know how well you can see them, but they're starting to sprout also. I hope you liked this quick update video on my dishwasher pods and also the update on my seedlings and how to thin them out. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, go down below and hit the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified of when I post one of my videos, hit the bell button right next to the subscribe button. If you'd like to share ideas, projects, and pictures, head on over to Facebook for Scrappy's Patch and hit the friend button. Feel free to share this video across your social medias. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy gardening. And I'll see you next time.